Good evening. Good evening. <laughs> I'm wearing purple today because I'm feeling very broody. I'm new to Facebook, as you know. I did not realize my daily video blog where I was challenging the filmmakers to join the challenge would be so incendiary. <sighs> Someone suggested perhaps the filmmakers should take their thumbs out of their mouths and be able to make something PG. Oh, that, was a, <laughs> that must have been a private comment of some kind. Maybe. I thought it was a pretty good one. Uh, I think That's not the entire quote. Um, the entire quote was, stop being babies, get your thumbs out of your mouth, and, and make, make a great movie. I think that was more And make a movie quote. for babies. Or... <laughs> I'm going to go with what I said. Okay. And I'm not going to tell you who said it. <laughs> anyway, my hat's off to Danielle Washam <sighs> and Randy Smith. Yay, Danielle Washam. Yay, who, Randy Smith. Who did not whine about anything today. Can't say much for everybody else. Well. No, there were some people who contributed wisely. Mm-hmm. And there was... There were some people who were absolute idiots, in my humble opinion, <laughs> to have gone away. <laughs> okay, let's try that again. There was one. <laughs> <laughs> there was one. <laughs> oh! <laughs> there was one strong anti-Sparta no. supporter. <laughs> So most people you said were being, or many people were being helpful, constructively criticizing, but I think you said you detected there was at least one that you felt was just being... Unhelpful. Unhelpful. Well, you get those in the community. <laughs> you get people who are helpful, and then you get people who um, love to sit and lob uh, criticism and don't, you know, do right. much other than that. Do you think, as the creator of Sparta, you are taking criticism well? I think I am. I think you are, too. Why do you think you are? Well, I posted in a different thread that any artist, as soon as they put their work in the public eye, is requesting, inherently requesting criticism. And it takes maturity to accept the criticism and look at all of it and go, yep, this is all good because it's coming from the public that I presented my art to. However, I'm going to be mature about assessing the criticism and I'm going to take that which is useful and I'm going to cast the rest away. And there are a few comments that come out and that's just normal that are just not really worthy of consideration. So after all the comments today, we've tossed around a few ideas. We have? <laughs> I've listened to a few of his ideas. Uh, one was we ditch D-I-F-D, and we ditch the rating, and we let the Sparta filmmakers do whatever the they want. And I'm allowed to say that one more time in a PG movie, so <laughs> Now I can't say any more. I've used them all. And uh, I can say those three, and or I can do some other kinds of things. So even the PG... Beep, beep, and rating system isn't very clear. Mm -hmm. Yada, yada, yada. And men's nipples, yay! Yes, apparently we can have men's nipple because nudity that's not sexual is okay. So. Actually, that's one of the catches I would like to put in. All, there should be men's nipples showing at all times. <laughs> all your male characters may not wear shirts. That is your visual catch. Sex, sex to be you if you don't have any male cast members. Or but. if you have three nipples. Oh, there's extra points if you have three nipples. This has now gone off the rails. I just want to say a couple more things. Okay. Uh-oh. I don't know what she's got on this piece of paper. I cannot read it as I am not wearing my glasses. <laughs> this is a good thing. So when Al and I entered our first film festival and did our very first movie um, eight years ago, 
we went to the Kingston International Film Festival, yes. Horror Film Festival, yes. and we entered a movie that I wrote the screenplay for. And when it was showing, people laughed. And I said, Alan, why are they laughing? It's a horror movie. It's a scary movie. He said, Joe, you wrote a comedy, <laughs> <laughs> not a horror movie, which he hadn't explained to me before. I guess he was just glad he had a script. But we saw movies from around the world, and some of them were awesome. Very few of them were Canadian. I will not take the international out of this film festival to satisfy everyone in Ottawa. Take the thumb out of your mouth and go out and make a movie. <laughs> Somebody said that. Somebody very wise. PG gives you lots of latitude. Yeah. Yep. Look at how many times I said the F word. Yep. I guess I should cut this together. Uh, See, this film festival was supposed to be spectacularly <laughs> simple, and then we had these PG non-suicide rules put upon us by the charity we want to sponsor. So but it makes we either sense. embrace the charity yeah. or we tell them to beep off and give you guys exactly what you want. I Here's, here's what I think about the whole... Uh, imposition of restriction, whatever. If the filmmakers of Ottawa are that bound and determined to want to do whatever they want to do without any restriction, then I'm not the guy who's going to spend my time and energy running a film festival. Because if you want a free-for-all, go find someone else to rent theater space and make arrangements and do all that stuff. Because it's not me. While you're working full-time. Yeah. I'm sure Kevin Burton learned something from each film festival he organizes. I'm sure, but... Listen, I have another thought. What? I will put $1,000 of my money into the Wait a minute. prize That's pot. my money. <laughs> yeah, our money's together. I will put $1,000 of our money... I'm not so keen on this. Oh, you can edit this part out if you don't like it. Okay. Into the prize pot if you don't make another... Sparta, from this one on. After February 2015, that's it. That's it. Dead. That's all. We work on our own so movies. My wife doesn't want me to do this anymore so badly that she's willing to pay me. No, she's willing to pay you. <laughs> so I don't do it anymore. Does that make any sense? Yes. How does that... Why would that convince me? Why would I want to do that? Well... The, the deal is, I put in the $1,000 of our money. Why would I want you to do that? For you to stop, and I will make movies with you. Oh, hang on. I'll just take the $1,000, and we'll pay some cast and crew, and we'll make a movie. And the Sparta can just dry up and blow away. <laughs> oh, I mean, yeah, if people yeah, don't yeah. want to do it that bad, oh, Alan, you're putting too many restrictions on us. Oh, blah, blah. we don't want to play. Fine, take your camera and go home. But... If I put $1,000 of our money in, then the three people who registered can split that money. This is the first top three people, right? And they deserve yeah, it but because how do we know registered. Which, how do we know which one's going to get the prize? Who's going to divide it? Well, we have Each judges. person gets 300 Oh, they have to make their movies. So they're yeah. going to yeah. make their movie. We don't put it in the theater. And we award prizes. We do everything we said we were going to do, but there's probably only three people that are going to register because oh. everybody else is too. Got their out. thumb stuck in their mouth. <laughs> yes. Are we going to use this at all? I don't know. It's great. Isn't it? <laughs>